So I work on kelp forests and kelp are like plants on land, they're a, a forest underwater and so they provide food and a home for lots of other um, animals and plants underwater. It's photosynthesizing and then that's producing carbon and so carbon is, is really important because it's it's like a little packet of energy and some things eat that directly they live on the kelp and they eat it but then also what happens is that the kelp breaks down and it decomposes and there's all these other organisms in the sediment in the water and the soft sand and so everything's kind of using that that carbon created by the kelp if we can measure what's you know the sort of production, the, the energy, the sort of food that's created by a kelp forest now, and then look at perhaps changes in the past, if we've had changes in marine reserves, and then also maybe looking into the future, if, um, if climate change starts affecting where kelp forest is, we can start to understand maybe the sort of the broader effects on other animals that, that, are, that are using that resource. Hoping to gain a greater understanding of what's happening right now because it's been a challenge to work underwater because kelp are in these big wave exposed environments. So if we start to understand their sort of the production, how much carbon, how much energy and food there is now, it allows us to understand what's happened in the past but also what's happening in the future and climate change is a massive impact and the, the better we can understand that, you know, the more we can predict and, and protect healthy environments.